Hello everybody, it's Sierra, the Artsy Badger, and it's Draw Sember Day 6. So today, we're going to be doing a skull study. I actually studied biological anthropology in college, and so I've always had a appreciation for skulls and bones. I mean, let's be real, I've had an appreciation for these things long before I majored in it. In fact, my appreciation for it is probably why I ended up studying it. As a kid, I loved finding deer antlers or deer jaws and owl pellets and any kind of bone I could get my hands on. I had this big Tupperware container full of feathers and shells and bones and snake skins. So I've just been really interested in animals and what they're made of my entire life. So it was pretty natural for me to go into my anthropology major. And although I did study a lot of human biology at that time, I also took a lot of classes on animal, also known as zooarchaeology. And I loved those classes. I loved learning to be able to identify skulls. By the way, this video is gonna be a little bit of a mess. I ended up running out of space on my phone, and unfortunately, phones don't ding at you when they decide to stop recording your art video, so the entire line work process is lost, but hopefully you're not too sad about that. And then I also end up losing light very quickly. This daylight savings thing has been hard for me to catch up with, but I end up kind of editing the footage to kind of make it brighter, but ultimately I had to stop and continue on a second day. So you will see my sleeve color change because I had to stop recording and continue the following day. I am recording these slightly in advance in case that's not obvious. <laughs> So anyway, back to skulls. This skull in particular is a Babarusa skull, I think is how you pronounce it. It's also known as a deer pig. They live in Indonesia on the Indonesian islands. I think most famously Sulawesi, but I could be wrong about that. But the cool thing about this species of pig is that its upper canines actually grow upwards, as you can see from my drawing rather than downwards like most people's canines would. And so they just end up with these crazy tusks up on top of their nose. I'll insert a picture here of what they look like with their flesh still intact. They just look so cool. It's so crazy the things that nature has come up with.
this is to show you how dark it got. <laughs> So back to what I was saying about studying skulls, I just loved being able to learn how to identify different skull fragments and figuring out what kind of animal it was based off of different features, such as muscle attachment points, as well as other things that separate one animal from another. And I feel very lucky to be a person that found a major that I was really passionate about. So along with my fascination for the actual skulls, obviously I also enjoy art, so it definitely is one of the things that I enjoy sketching. Pretty much every one of my sketchbooks has some kind of skull drawing in it. Even one of my first videos on this channel has a turkey skull that I drew. And that book that I showed in the beginning is actually a reference book from the Cal Academy of Sciences from an exhibit that they had a while back. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go to the actual exhibit, but I interned with someone who had, and I was able to get that book. And I was so excited because I just love looking at all the different skulls in there. So there will definitely be more skull studies this month. So you guys will get a little taste of the book. Let me know if you guys like this kind of content or is it a little too dark? I don't know. <laughs> this one is not my best work, I would say. The coloring was a little rough, both because I had to stop in the middle and that always throws off my groove, but also a lot of my markers were running out of ink. So it was just kind of a disastrous day in general for art. But as I always say, you can't have a good art day every day. And here we are, end of day six, almost one week of draw December complete. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.